Um, you guys remember this. CERN to test world's most powerful particle accelerator during April solar eclipse. To search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. So most of you guys remember CERN and its connection with the solar eclipse on April 8th. And how they were going to fire CERN on that day. Well, this is Peter Higgs. And he was the first one, apparently, from what they tell us, in 1964 to suggest that they could possibly find what is called the Higgs boson particle from his last name, Peter Higgs. So they also call it the God particle, and it was in the movie The Da Vinci Code with Tom Hanks. They have CERN, the Large Hadron Collider, in that movie. Well, he died on April 8th. At least that's what they tell us. Few scientists have enjoyed as much fame in recent years as British theoretical physicist Peter Higgs, the namesake of the boson that was discovered in 2012, who died on 8th, 8 April, age 94. That's interesting that it was discovered in 2012 because that's the year that the Mayans said that the world would, I guess, end or at least change. And 2012 was also, like 2024, the year of the dragon. This is very interesting to me. And I think that might have been around the time when people started noticing the Mandela effect. You know, things being changed somehow. So again, I say this is what they tell us. Did he actually die? We don't really know. But if he did, was it some type of ritual? Possibly. Or was it something else? We don't really know. But the connection with the eclipse and then firing CERN. And then the guy who apparently proposed or discovered or whatever the god particle which was the whole point of cern at at least that's what they tell us he dies on this very uh, pro prolific day just one thing that i do know is they didn't put that in the news as a coincidence on that day there's no way that's the truth Solar eclipses to be made on demand by new spacecraft. Hmm. Total solar eclipses in which the sun is blocked from view by the moon are precious events. After Monday's spectacular, the next worldwide occurrence will not be until late 2026, and the U.S. will not glimpse another until late 2044. Scientists with the European Space Agency, which is the ESA, don't want to wait, however, and so have come up with a way to make their very own eclipses on a nearly daily basis. Are you listening? The trick is that they won't be waiting for the moon to be in just the right place but will use one spacecraft with a round shield to cast a shadow over the special sensors of a second craft. By blocking out the main body of the sun, just like in a moon-caused eclipse, researchers will be able to study its surrounding atmosphere, the so-called solar corona, which is normally drowned out by the sheer glare of the star. Did you all get that? They can make their own eclipses. So one thing that people should remember about where we are at on the timeline in these last days is that we are at a time where everything is a counterfeit. You know, the word antichrist doesn't just mean against Christ, but it means in place of Christ, a counterfeit to Christ. And that's the story with everything today. Nothing is the real thing. Solar eclipses aren't real. 
Israel, that's not the real Israel over there. Our food isn't real. Education isn't real. What the government is doing isn't real. It's all man-made, staged, counterfeit. Just imagine something and then something else counterfeiting it. And, and that is where we're at. Remember, the man of sin comes with signs and lying wonders. Lying wonders. So if this solar eclipse was counterfeited, that would count as a lying wonder. Am I saying that I'm 100% sure that it was counterfeited? No, I'm not 100% sure, but... The technology that they are exposing to us now shows us that they can and probably already have counterfeited or created, made eclipses with their technology. Just remember the last days are all about deception. And even 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 talks about God sending the world strong delusion. So that they should believe a lie. Always keep that in mind.